Welcome to the Hillsborian Historian. My name is Rex, and this episode focuses on the class of 1917. As is often the case during this era, the yearbook is dedicated to Principal Robinson. That kid on the bottom right better start paying attention. All right, check out these snazzy football uniforms. This football team does have the distinction of being the first team to beat Duval High School of Jacksonville at Jacksonville. It's a bit confusing, but the yearbook tells us that the Terrier's winning score occurred when a Terrier recovered a fumble under an automobile. After this epic Turkey Day victory, the Terriers return to Tampa to a hero's welcome and are given a banquet and even a parade. Here we can see everyone lining up to get lunch from Ed, the original school merchant, who has been at HHS for about 15 years. Around this time, Principal Robinson and others become very active. They want compulsory education and free textbook laws. In March, the junior-senior banquet was held at the Tampa Bay Hotel. Depictions of the Terrier at this time more closely resemble a Boston Terrier than the American Bulldog Terrier that he will eventually evolve into. In early April, a group of patriotic senior boys created what was called the HHS Cadet Corps. A few days later, America entered World War I. Terriers supported the war effort in various ways, and some thought that this would be the war to end all wars. In May, the Hillsborian Yearbook is distributed. During its early years, the Hillsborian Yearbook is often referred to as the commencement issue of the Red and Black newspaper. In May, these Terriers graduated at the Tampa Bay Casino. All right, Terriers, please subscribe to my channel to keep up with all of my HHS videos. And as always, go Big Red.